We begin tonight by remembering Cyrus Carmack Belton. He's the young man who was shot and killed last weekend following an incident at a local gas station in Columbia. Tonight, a community prayer vigil was held to honor the 14 year old's life. News 19's Nate Stanley was there. He joins us now with the details. The vigil wrapped up with a prayer and a call for swift legal justice in Cyrus's murder. Community leaders say that it is now about healing and looking out for loved ones. And Father God, we know that there are so many emotions that are going on right now in this community. A prayer for peace and change. That was the message coming from community members in Columbia Friday. Just down the road from where Cyrus Carmack Belton was shot and killed over the weekend, a small crowd gathered to pray and share their frustration. And I pray, Father God, that you begin the process of healing. It was organized by Reese and Melissa Palmer. They run a Christian-based counseling service and say the goal of the vigil is to provide emotional healing and give love to the community. So something like this is a huge trigger, you know, to have some to learn that someone's been shot and killed in this tragic way. It's definitely going to bring up some things from one's past. So if you can come to a safe, safe space and talk, talk through your issues, talk through your problems, and actually trust the person you're talking to. That's what we want to want people to know. That's the type of counseling that we offer our community. Speaking at the event was Richland County Coroner Nada Rutherford. Let's say Cyrus's name so that people don't forget that this was a child that died. And when you go home tonight, talk to your own children. Sometimes they are doing things that we have no idea about, no matter how great we parent them. Tamara Burden is a mother to a 14-year-old son in Columbia who showed up for the vigil. She explained Cyrus's death hit hard. Yeah, I let them go to the gas station. You know, I went outside in the car, I let them go to the gas station by themselves, but, I mean, that could have been him. She came to Friday's vigil to show support and be a part of the community. Love on your family, love on your kids. You know, make sure we love one another, have each other's back, you know. Cyrus's funeral is set for Saturday, June 3rd at the Second Nazareth Baptist Church in Columbia, and it is set to begin at noon. Reporting in Columbia, Nate Stanley, News 19, WLTX. Again, those funeral services are tomorrow. Meanwhile, the man charged in connection with Cyrus's death will go before a judge later this month. According to Richland County Court records, 58-year-old Rick Chow is scheduled to be in court again Friday, June 23rd.